What's going on guys? Today we're reviewing the newest class in Adventure Quest Worlds, Death Knight Lord. I also got a new webcam. I don't know if you can tell. It auto-focuses on my face and if I move around quickly it'll lose focus and then regain it. Hopefully that it hopefully it did that. If it didn't, I'm gonna look silly. But it's a Logitech C920 if you're wondering what webcam it is, and let's get right into the video. Alright, first things first, how to get the class. So you can get it for ACs if you want to buy it. It's kind of hidden in a little uh, store. I made a video on how to get it. I won't include that in this video, but I'll go to my channel or search how to get it for ACs. You can also get it with a 30 day daily quest. I think it's a daily quest. Someone corrected me. I think it might not be a daily quest. Only not on Twitter before the release came out said it was going to be a daily quest. They might have changed it. But 30 days were daily quest. It, this class is member only. It's locked in a shop. Uh, for, that only members can access, but the class itself is a free player class, so when you're not a member, you can still use it. So it's kind of like the Red Hunting Hood in that aspect, where you need to be a member to get it, but you can use it when you're not a member. So as far as the class goes, let's go to an area, and I'll show you how it does in combat. Real quick, I'm going to get soloing out of the way, so um, it's 26,000 health, it's level 25 I'm level 65 with full luck and chance. Uh, I'd recommend full luck because it's a it's a class based off criticals. So you can stack with your first skill up to 10 times. I think the best uh, way to stack is probably th between three to five would be your best uh, use of like mana to stack with. It does your first skill does use mana, and this is more of a dot farming class. It's not going to do too good at soloing. You see, I'm, I'm actually sort of struggling on a level 25 so if i was to go against a higher level boss per se this isn't the ultra fight this is a normal blood titan um level 35 but it's a lot stronger than that last one you will it does have a heal which is your uh for, fifth skill but it's not going to it's not going to beat a stone crusher or basically any other class a lot of the other classes it's not going to be it's not built for this and it's actually pretty bad at soloing so you're not going to be using this class at all for soloing moving on i just died after i said moving on so yeah i'll see you in the next area all right here we are in pirates i'm going to show you how the farming is for this class it is a farming class so all the skills are aoe actually let's go over the skills before we continue the video so Assassin class. It is a strength slash endurance class with a pretty high dex, and your fourth skills ranked are reducing damage taken from all sources by 20%, which is pretty decent, and an increased hit chance by 20. So you're gonna hit a lot with this class. It's not gonna miss uh, at all most of the time. It's got almost 100% hit chance uh, with the uh, the one of these skills that buffs your haste as well. So it's very good. I'm not gonna go over the skills basically. Um, they're just they're all dots that buff other dots. It's either a buff for your dot So your first skill will buff your other skills and then these skills are basically all dots and the last one is a heal So two dots a heal and a buff that stacks up to 10 That's basically all you need to know about the skills not a lot of depth there Although there is a little very there's variables like percent chances of um, Things happening, but it's not it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So Basically, how you use this class is you stack your first skill, and then once you get that up to a few stacks, you want to like you want to use one of your dots, and that will do your 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 most of your damage. I am using unstable right now, but some people like unstable, some people like stable. I can swap over to stable. This isn't the best class. Um, that might have looked like it was doing okay, but it's it lost half its almost half its health there and. Yes, these aren't the worst mobs you'll be farming. They aren't that hard. Um, so that's just 15% more damage, and it's a stable. But so I'm not gonna use that. I'll use unarmed, which is a uh, very good stable. 138 to 138, it's the most stable weapon in the game, to my knowledge. Um, so I didn't stack at all there, and you can see that I'm doing little to no damage if you don't stack. So the stacks are very, very needed. So, I don't like this class because it requires you to, like, pay attention to the game, basically, and that's the opposite of something you want out of a farming class, because a lot of times when you're farming, you're either 
listening to music, you're watching a TV show or something like I don't know. I I watch Netflix all the time while I'm farming. Up, if I'm not doing it on stream, of course, I'm paying attention to stream chat a lot when I'm farming. I don't want to have to pay attention to stacking my skills and doing stuff like that. So, in that in that sense, this class isn't that good. But if you can pay, if you if you are paying attention to the game, like I'm, like most people probably do. I mean, it's probably a small percentage of people that like do other things while they're farming. Actually, I don't know, but. It is an okay class. It's only 1600 ACs, which is one of the cheapest classes they released in a long time. Uh, on discount, though, it's only going to be like that for another week. So, if you do want to pick it up, it is cheap. If you're a class collector, you probably already have it. So, yeah, I don't have to tell you twice to buy it. But um, if you just want a farming class, I would recommend something like Blazebinder. I can actually show you Blazebinder right now. Um, so, if I swap over to my favorite farming class, which is Blaze. And we wait for that guy to respawn. You can see the amount of damage Blaze does is a lot higher. And this is without the mage enchants too. I'm not, this isn't even enchanted properly. Alright, now that we're enchanted properly uh, with for Blaze, you can see I'm doing a bit more damage. Which that, that extra little bit of damage adds up over time. You can see I'm completely demolishing the skeletons compared to uh, the Death Knight Lord class. So, if you want it for a farming class, it's not really worth it. I'd recommend farming for this, because this is a non-member class that you can just get by farming reputation. So, this class is amazing when you compare it to Death Knight Lord. Actually, it's one of the top two. This and Shaman are the two best farming classes in the game still to this day. I can show you Shaman too, which is a very good farming class. Which I'll keep in my inventory, of course. So, uh, conclusion to this video, is it worth buying? Um, no, unless you just want it to have it, I guess, is basically my answer to that question. I'm going to be honest, uh, there's lots of other classes you, sh you should buy if you're thinking about spending ACs. I'd recommend saving them for rare classes. There's going to be a new rare Nolgath class coming out soon. So I'd recommend saving your ACs for that class that's going to be coming out soon. Um and not buying this one. I don't think this is worth your uh, ACs. So yeah, I, I'd skip this one if you want to. If you're one of those guys that wants every class, uh, go for it. But as far as the farming class and just generally being a good class, it's not that good. They might buff it in the future. If they do, I will keep you updated on that. But as of how the class is right now, it's not that good and I don't think it's worth your time. Um, our class recommendations would be Stone Crusher for farming bosses. Um, and Shaman or Blaze, depending on which one you prefer for farming uh, mobs. So in PvP, I did test it out, uh, if you're curious how the new class is doing in PvP. And I realized that I should probably be using the new class in a class review. So the new class in PvP is very... It's... I won about 30% of my matches, so... And I'm pretty decent at PvP, I'm not... I know I'm not good. Oh, I, I'd say I'm average at PvP at best. Like I'm not, I'm not very good, but not very good, bad. But I was going against people the same level with better classes and beating them sometimes. And I was going against worse people, uh, lower level people, not worse, but lower level people with worse classes as far as PvP classes go, and they were beating me. So it's very RNG based in the as far as PvP goes. So it's not going to be a good PvP class. I'm not going to show any PvP in this match, in this uh, video because I would. I don't know, it's hard to find PvP matches off stream. So, anyway guys, that's the video. Is the class worth it? Not really. Um, should you save your ACs for an upcoming class, like a new Nolgath one that's going to be coming out soon, that's going to be AC only and rare? I Yes, this class is confirmed not rare by Elena on Twitter. I tweeted at her, she replied that it's not going to be rare ever. So, And you can get this as a 30-day merge, so I recommend doing the 30 day uh, daily quest to get it if you really want it as a member and uh, yeah just wait till you're a member to get it or if you're never going to get member then eh, it's, you're not it's not you're not missing out on anything that good so uh, that's my conclusion to this video if you enjoyed leave a like if you didn't like it leave a dislike tell me what I did wrong and I will see you guys all in the next video thanks for watching peace click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet hit it